Artyom. You know, when I found this photo of the Pacific Ocean, I just knew, knew for some reason that we were going to go there in the end. All these rivers, mountains, deserts, they just won't do. It's ocean or bust. I believed we could make it. I did. I know I'll get there. And if I need some help, you'll be there for me. You'll save me again, won't you? <coughs> Artyom, please. Stop torturing yourself. It hurts to even look at you. You and Dad, too. It's not your dream, and not his belief in the occupying forces. It's just fate. A stupid piece of cloth in the wind. Rotten concrete. An idiotic ammo dump. <coughs> Arthur, you should go. I'll give her a shot, let her sleep a bit. Come with me, Bratucha. There are things to discuss. Hey! Leave your work for the moment! Come to the bridge! Stepan, come to the bridge! All right, one moment! Tell me what happened, Nastya. Did someone bully you? No. Why are you crying, then? I'm afraid. Afraid? What of? <coughs> this. I have this scarf. What if it's like Aunt Anna's? <laughs> Don't worry, Nastya. You didn't breathe any gas after all. It's just a cold. We'll fix it in no time. And Aunt Anna? Olga! Alyosha here! I'm online as promised. I hope you can hear me. How is she? Well, we have news, Dart. And it seems to be bad. We haven't had any other variety in a long time. So no one... Take a seat, Bratucha. Boy, Fire away. this conversation is not gonna be simple, I think. Until today, we thought that this shot of Novosibirsk caused a simple error. What's we up are with it? The legend says, irradiated zones are highlighted in shades of green, while purple highlights indicate errors. Today, though, I found some small print. The thing is, radiation levels way outside of normal operational range of the scanner are also marked as errors. Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk, and the radiation wow. outside is almost the as high as back in there. Moscow. It can't be a morehead. Ah, the shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still, Novosibirsk is most probably. So what do we do now? I'll tell you what we do. Artyom and I will go. This is not right. the other way. We go Could together. No. Sir, please, no. sir. She is my daughter. His wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker. And Artyom with his dream. He dragged us out of Moscow. So we too are to blame. Still, we are the order. We are one crew and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an order mission. It is a personal errand. Mine and Artyom's. We don't need any help. Second, 
We don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center, or in one of the Academ Gordot labs. Sahara's life might well end up in your hands, too. Third and last, wherever we might go, winter is coming. And getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? That's something we can't allow. Do you remember what Yermak said? Remind There's them, a please. huge railway technology museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snowplow for the Aurora there. So, gentlemen, your missions are to search the Academ Gorodot labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Crew, get ready for the mission. Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside. Effective immediately. Sam, you're first. Yes, sir. I think that lethal radiation levels there are actually good news for us. Uh, you mean there was nobody left to rob the drugstores and hospitals? <laughs> exactly. Unlike the towns we've been through. Colonel, sir. An update on the suits. Yes. What's the situation? I managed to assemble only two complete ones. You see? I'm so glad I found Mata's record. The medicine is called Renogen F, and she was completely amazed by it. Mind you, she was a real doctor, unlike me. Katia, believe me, your mother would be proud of you. Thank you, Alyosha. I hoped I could help, but Anna's case seems to be... extremely unfortunate. That gas on the Volga lost most of its punch already. But it was enough to start the destructive process. Of course, the hopes I had for the valley and its air were my need. But even the valley in the end... in the forest. It's all there. But I'm afraid not for long. A pity. The people there are actually quite nice. We'd find some common ground. Is the dam in such danger? It is. But even if it could hold back for years more, a third of the family... There's nothing to see. Do you think Colonel didn't send us there just because he forgot about it? I 
What do you know? We're here. Novosibirsk. I sure hope this time it's not another bunch of nuts. The bridges are undamaged, and the radiation's climbing like crazy. I think there'll be no nutcases this time. Hmm. The houses are undamaged, too. Sam, what's with the radiation? Eight times higher than in Moscow and still climbing, Colonel. I think we'd better not stay outside for too long here. Are you ready, Artem? Follow me! Good luck. You can rely on us. The situation here looks more complex than we thought. Still, time is short, so we're taking the direct approach. Let's refresh the plan. Yurimak! We'll take the Aurora south to the Sibirskaya cargo station. Ah, I'm out the next upon. Krist, Sam, Idiot, and I will handle the Institute building in Akadem Gorodok. We'll pay a visit to the railroad museum on the way. There might be something Ariosha. for the Aurora. I'm staying to guard the Aurora with Tokarev. Good. Artyom and I are checking the Institute's main building. Radiation is way too high here, so we'll try to get there through the metro. Well, let's get to it. Good luck, Spartans. Good, Good luck. luck. Good luck. Yes. And could you please watch over her for us until Artem and I come back? Please? Of course. Teddy and I will be her guard. Will you help me, Teddy? Drive a Teddy mission acknowledged! She's sleeping. Are you leaving? Yes. I hope we'll make it in time. Anna is strong. She'll be here for you. She definitely will. Just make sure you come back. Thank you, Katya. Come in, Artyom. The attack ended. I did my best. So you don't have to worry. Her pulse is strong. She's just exhausted. She'll probably sleep till tomorrow now. Come back soon. Seeing you would be the best medicine. Anna is strong. She will win this fight. Just make sure you... Good luck. You're too. here, Colonel, sir. Thank you. Artyom, this is no Moscow where you could loiter outside for months. Who knows what monsters live here? So think well what to pack. I'll be waiting at the car. Gear up, Artyom. I cleaned your guns and put all the ammo and resources we had left in here. You're going to need it. You ready? We are. So, Artyom, 
Here's your chance. Our last chance to save Anna. We must make it count. Saddle up. You keep overwatch. I'll be busy watching the road. It's not squeaky clean, I'm sure. Good luck, gentlemen. We are her last hope now. All those carriages stuck here. I failed evacuation, I presume. Let's try to get into the square behind the station. Metro entrance should be there. All right, walking here would be easier, but we should minimize our exposure. So here goes nothing. So, how do you find the road to your dream? Do you wish we never set out? I can see that. Well, let's put those feelings away for the moment, Artyom. We can handle this. I think we can get out through there. Hold on! Hit smack in the middle of evacuation. <sighs> We're definitely not entering the metro through here. Too much snow. Take the wheel, Artyom. I'll handle the navigation. We'd better use the map here. No time for driving in circles. All right. The map puts the metro entrance quite close to our position. Careful! Mind the car! This road should get us to the city center. Take it, but keep looking around. There might be a way into the metro on the way. So much snow, and the storm is getting worse by the minute. Uh, weird feeling. The buildings are intact, but the city is dead. Don't you think Moscow was better, eh? Damn. All right, okay. Turn right. There is nowhere else to go. Try the courtyard on the left. Don't rush it. We're done for if we get stuck. Go straight here. Careful, Artyom. Careful. The weather is still getting worse, as well as the radiation. We can't stay here. There. That way should take us back to the main road. God damn it! Another car pile! It seems like a tank passed through here. Let's follow it. Mind the car, Artyom! Damn. I hope the car could take us further. We'll have to walk from here. 
And we'll have to be quick. The radiation's rising. The filters won't last long. Finally here! Let's find a way to the city center. Hmm, that's what I call a cave-in. Got any ideas on how we get into that tunnel? Through the carriage! I'll help you open that! Let's do this! all around. These have been here for at least 20 years. Let's move on and keep your eyes peeled. These guys can't hurt us, but the survivors might. We need to get to the Lenin Square station. The Institute is a stone throw from there. The metro isn't very deep here, and with the radiation so high, the locals probably didn't last long. It's a bit safer down here, though we've already taken at least triple the norm up there. again. Going to have a go at us. Let them try, I say. The straightway is blocked. Take a look around, Artyom. We need to get into the tunnel next to ours. Artyom, hold on! Take me 
Jeez! Are you okay? Good. Whoa! Incoming! Get ready! See how you like some of this! Damn! These are probably related to the mutants from back home. And this metro is crawling with them. I guess we can handle these. <laughs> what are these things even <laughs> eat here? Not people, that's for sure. surviving. Due to that green stuff, that radio protector the military issued. And then their stores ran dry, but the radiation was still there. And that was it. Something in the water. We'd better get out. We could get out here. Here are the locals. Hmm. Reminds one of that execution pit in Moscow, doesn't it? Eight thousand kilometers later, and we're at an execution pit again. I wonder if they were called spies too.
These people died a year ago at most. There might still be survivors. Stay at the ready. Come up! Artyom, are you okay? This isn't our head hole. We've nobody to help us here if anything happens. You break a leg, you crawl back to the Aurora alone. I can't turn back before I find that medicine. Here, take my hand. I'll help you up. Let's move. Just watch where you're going from now on, huh? We've lost enough time already. That leads to the tunnel. I don't like these supports. The whole thing could collapse at any moment. Let's see. Oh, look at this dust! Seems solid enough. Let's go. We're in a station's outskirts. Wait, I'll pop a flare. Damn. This was war, after all. Hmm. They'd been defending with these armored trolleys, and when those were taken out, they blew the tunnel up. The reinforcements never arrived. Let's go to this station. We might find something out there. Ah, our old pal, the Dushka. A full-blown siege. The defenders were protecting the station entrance. There were quite a few survivors here. Until they killed each other off. Looks like that lie in Moscow did work after all. What is better, I wonder? Life built on a lie? Or death born out of truth? What? I feel... strange. Are you all right? I'm seeing things too? Radiation. We did catch quite a lot of it. Another grave. This is where the battle ended. Let's check that gate out. It should lead to the next station. What was that? Shh. There, again. What the hell? Open fire! Why you? I thought I 
was seeing things again. The dead rising. We walked right into their lair. Oh, at least we're alive. Let's open that gate. Give me a hand, Artyom. Come on! That's enough. Let's go. As far as I understand, this is Sibirskaya, a line transfer station. Abandoned a long time ago. run through here, I'd notice. Check that side out, I'll have a look here. There's nothing to fear, we just want to talk. Stop! Where do you think 
you're going. Finally, why did you run? Come on, speak up, soldier. Identify yourself. Private Krill Klebnikov, Oskom, Rapid Response Unit. And you won't get another word from me, so you can kill me Klebnikov. now. All right, Private. We mean no harm to anyone. Just take us to your commanding officer. What do you mean you mean no harm? I'm from Oskom. I'm here with them. Them? Yeah, I don't know who you mean by that, but if they kill children, we're definitely against them. So, you can take us to your commander. Mm, why do you want to see him? We're on an important mission, details of which may only be disclosed to ranking officers. You just have to take us to them. Besides, you don't really have much choice. All right. No monkey business, mind you. This way! The station's nearby! Which station is it? Which? It's Prospect, of course. Just one section to the Institute. We're close, Artyom. All clear. Come on. Wait. You said you were close. But why do you need the Institute? <laughs> you are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. Mission to the Institute? But there's no more green stuff left there. Green stuff? Uh, what's that? You don't know? Wait. Which station are you from? Artyom is from the Exhibition, and I'm from Polis. Huh? Where is that? It's in Moscow, soldier. Wait! Damn! The analysis. Give me a boost Come there! On. Please! And we're done here. Private Klebnikov, you can come out now. Hey, where did you go? Did he just run? How are we supposed to find him now? We shouldn't have taken eyes off him. I'm here. <laughs> He's alive. Ha, it was only a couple of mutants. Are you really from Moscow? We are. I'm Colonel Miller, leader of a special task force. Artyom here is one of my subordinates. We came from Moscow on a train. Wow, this is cool. Wait a second, I'll open the gate. I thought you were with rioters. 
We had a war here, do you see? We noticed that. The place you got here. Where is everyone? Dead's on a mission, and there's nobody else. Not since the war, anyways. Oh, so the city was tough enough to live through the nuclear war, but not the civil one. How long has it been just the two of you? Uh, almost a year. We are lucky. Had a whole box of green stuff. Like the rich guys. Wait. Artyom, it's satellite map. This is the valley where Alyosha and you got lost. Hmm. Where did you get this from, Private? Stokers brought it from the SATCOM center. A long time ago. So your father's on a mission? When is he coming back? I don't know. When did he leave? A month back. And he's been off the air for the last three weeks. I see. Um, do you know where he went? What was the mission? He went to that SATCOM center. We were going to leave the city in the spring. He went to go get the impact map. Said, we're sure to find a clear place if we get one. Got it. Private, we need to use your radio. Artyom, let's contact the Aurora. I'm going to get that map. We should tell them. Do you read me, Aurora? Miller here. Colonel, read you loud and clear. How did you get on the air? A change of plans. We found the survivors. They say the SATCOM center is still there. I'm going there for the map. Artyom takes the Institute. Copy that, Colonel. How is Anna doing? She's asleep. Try to make haste there. Katya says Anna's going to have another attack soon, and she's way too weak to... Come again, Aurora! Over! Do you copy, Aurora? Over! Damn! Static again! Artyom, if his father had really found a clean place, this is a chance for Anna, for the boys, for all of us! A chance to have a real life! I'll go get that map. Meet me here once you recover the medicine. Then we'll Wait, go get the you car. you can't go outside with the anti rad We still have three left. Dad was saving them for our escape from the city. Great. Thank you. Artyom, get geared up in the meantime. Look, there's even a workbench here. By the way, you can take my railgun if you want. Might be of more use where you're going. Don't forget the ammo. Tell me when you're ready. But don't forget to restore some filters, Artyom. Won't have time to do that later. Uh, where is it? This place is no good. There, perhaps. Tell me, Kirill. How did you and your father end up the only survivors? The green stuff. The anti-rad ran out. You can't survive without it. The fire stations rioted, the committee sent in soldiers, the war broke out. And then, some died in combat, others in the fire. Not enough people to guard the entrances, so the mutants broke through everywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I I'm okay. Don't worry. This map Aha! is definitely Here more is. recent. Uh. As far as I understand, that ventilation is our exit to the station. Yes, that one! Then, you go through the station. Then, take the right tunnel. This thing is simple. Just take a shot if you feel sick. Thank you. So, this is what had been keeping them all alive. Oh, 
Are you ready? Good luck. Remember why we are in this. The life of my daughter, your wife, is in your hands now. Now go.
Artyom. Artyom. Come on, wake up.
You, you defined, defined it, my love. love. It's, it's all right. right. I know I mean you tried. tried. I'm, I'm waiting, waiting for, for you. you. I, I want, want you to be there, there when... when... <coughs> again. Get up! Quick! He's asleep. Better leave them be when they get like this. It's just a straight drive from now on. He tried to teach me to drive, but... He just... 
and out like this. Can you drive? Hooray! We're moving again. Said that was a true hero, and that he saved us all. On the way back, we got to jump like mutants, but then he shot them all. Bam! Right between the eyes. Then we got to the river. There were these worms and deep water, so he carried me on the shoulders. Wow, so many cars. It's the moon, so beautiful. So many new things.
Careful. I don't get how he's even alive. Artyom, can you hear me? Careful, everyone. He got irradiated badly. And I couldn't even get a reading on the colonel's body. The counter goes off the scale. <sighs> Hold on, Artyom. We'll fix you just fine. How could this happen? Focus, Katya! What do we do? Tell us! <laughs> An emergency transfusion. We must give him as much blood as we can. Transfusion it is then. Will it save him? It will keep him alive for a little longer. As long as there is blood. What's his blood type? Hey, be positive. We could give him any type. Get everyone here. Don't go to sleep, Artyom. No, you can't go to sleep now. Well, hello there, Artyom. How about we take a walk? <laughs> Staying underground grew old. That's it, Stepan. You can't give more. Look! He's up! Can you hear me, Artyom? Don't you dare die on us. Just don't you dare. You've got a whole life ahead of you. And kids! So fight for it. Fight! Why did you stop? Didn't you always want to go outside? Didn't you open that airlock at the botanical gardens? This place is much better. This isn't your destination, Artyom. You're not there yet, not even close. It's not your station, it's just a dead end. Not your goal. Can you hear me? Give me your hand. Oh, you're burning up. Well, I... I hope this old man's blood will do something about that... that hot head of yours, eh? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Okay, my friend. Time to get some quality blood in that body of yours, huh? With this, ah, you'll be up in no time. Or I'll eat my own shoes, huh? You know, I finally feel like I belong somewhere. I am no longer an outsider. You keep us together, Artyom. You must survive for all of our sakes. Let's go to the summit. Hear me, Artyom. You've got a wife you need to work on making kids with. And my fiancé is still in Moscow. We still have to stir some shit up back in the metro, so don't you fucking dare die here. Look, Artyom. Lake Baikal. Ah, makes you believe real life is possible. Not the petty rat race we had back in the metro. I just... Just have to say... You were right, Artyom. Right for wanting to get us out. Bring us here. And I, the old fool, I was simply afraid. Afraid of life, as I see now. <gasps> Look! He's smiling! Smiling in his sleep! He even seems to say something. It's his fever talking. He's burning up. This world is worth giving everything up for, Artyom. <laughs> you were always ready. And I... Uh, was too attached to my position in the rat race. I'm sorry. Sorry for what happened to Anna. Sorry for blaming you. <sighs> Had I not pumped everyone up about the occupying forces. She'd never have fallen there. Artyom, I beg you, don't die. Stay with me, please. I don't want a life if you're not a part of it. Can you hear me? Look at me, Artyom. Look at me, please. Yes, about Anna. You will have to look out for her. Now that I can't anymore. 
I don't care if you go to that ocean. Just stay with her. <coughs> I'm keeping her out. She can barely stand herself, but she's ready to give all her blood to him. At least the medicine helped. It's a miracle. I have a daughter, but I also wanted a son. A really stubborn one, just like me. Like you. I really like this place. It's so clean. I'd like to stay here... forever. Could you arrange that for me? <laughs> and the most important thing... My time's up, Artyom. It's your turn now. Step up. Lead them. Just remember that I created the Order to save people. All people, Artyom. Don't forget that. Because I somehow did. Goodbye, Commander. Time to wake up. Come on. Rise and shine, son. The fever is subsiding. I think he's getting better. Now he needs some rest. You too, Anna. We've got hope now. We found the place I saw in my dream. That hill on the shores of Baikal where Miller took me. A clean place, just like he said. Everything around is clean. We found ourselves a home. A home at the foot of a hill, overlooking a lake. A home where we could raise our children, who will be born not in the damp and dark tunnels, but under blue sky and bright sun. Ladies and gentlemen, as the ranking officer, I propose a motion to entrust the duty of commanding the order to our job. Unanimously approved. So, what would your orders be, sir? I would say we all go home. But this home seems too large for just us. You know, the Colonel once told me he created the order to save people. All of them. I say it's time we perform this duty. <laughs> <laughs> 